Uh, anybody got any wins or celebrations? I do. <laughs> would you like me to do that now, Joe? Yes. That would be great, Pam. <laughs> it's Daisy time. I understand we have some visitors, too, that might want to hear this. Gonna give it away. <laughs> give it away, <laughs> Come here and see me. Come here. us. <laughs> and I have just what you need right here. She's just Phoenix. Partnered with Daisy. Awesome. Yeah. I'll block this on for you. Well. It's so fun to have family here, isn't it? It's very special. So let me tell you a little bit about Daisy, because your family may not know about it, and we haven't been to Far East for a while. So um, Daisy is an award that was started in the year 2000 by the family of Patrick Barnes. Patrick lived in Seattle. He was a 33-year-old gentleman who was a husband, fairly new father, and he was unfortunately dying of complications of ITP. And he spent six weeks in a hospital in Seattle um, during that dying process. And his family, um, who were there daily to be with Patrick, were just so touched by the compassion of the nurses that cared for Patrick and cared for them um, that they tell the story that after Patrick's death, um, they got together one night over a liquid dinner <laughs> and um, thought, how are we going to honor those nurses? And they came up with the Daisy Award, which is diseases attacking the autoimmune system. And they thought it would be a local award in Seattle just to say thank you to these very compassionate, caring nurses. But it is now in every state of the United States and an international recognition for the compassion that nurses share. And today, that award is going to Allie. <laughs> So Amy nominated you, Aww. and she says, I am nominating Allie for this award because she is an excellent and caring nurse. Allie takes the time to get to know her patients outside of the four hospital walls. Recently, Allie had a 102-year-old patient named Henry that she was taking care of on Four East. After talking with him, he told her his bucket list was to ride on a helicopter. Allie took that conversation to others, and Henry's wish, wish of riding on a helicopter coming true at 102. Allie's compassion and dedication to her patients every day is why she is an outstanding nurse and role model. Have mm -hmm. well, everybody seen the little vi the video clip of Henry? And the, if you haven't seen that, you should watch it. And what a phenomenal thing you, you started! You didn't just listen to that dream, but you did something about it, Allie, and that was so special. So thank you for thank that. You. So Daisy comes with prizes. <laughs> Fabulous prizes. <laughs> there will be a banner with your name on it, and this will be hung on the banner. There are daisies, of course. <laughs> there is a portfolio signed by um, the Barnes family. They must be special. There are cinnamon rolls, and let me tell you the cinnamon roll story. So, um, when Patrick was still able to eat, one day his dad came up to see him and he had one of those big, gooey, wonderful cinnamon rolls, you know, you've all had those that you get in the mall. And his dad was gonna eat it himself and Patrick said, gosh, dad, that smells good, I think I'll take a bite of that and proceeded to eat the whole thing. Um, and then said to his dad, please bring up cinnamon rolls every day for me and the nurses. And what the Barnes family, um, their connection with cinnamon uh, for the nurses again and, and the nursing staff is that they, when they tell this story about Patrick and they go around the United States, what they often hear from nurses is, I was just doing my job, just doing what I do every day. And I know that's what we think we're doing, but to the patients and families, that's so, so special. And you touch their lives so much. So the Barnes family wants nurses, every time you eat cinnamon or bake with cinnamon or smell cinnamon, to think about how special you are. So what a great thought when fall is coming and we bake those apple pies. So. I don't know how many of these I've given away, and every time I do it, I think, gosh, I haven't broken one yet. And I always get nervous, Allie, that this might be the first one, so let's not have it be the first one, all right? This is um, a statue called the Healer's Touch, and um, you should go on the Daisy website and see how they make this, because it's amazing. It is handmade by artists in Zimbabwe, and your artist has signed it right there for you. Um, and the healers in Zimbabwe are very special to their culture. 
And so this Healer's Touch statue is very special to them, um, not only to make for Daisy and that partnership and the nurses, but also in that very impoverished nation, it feeds over 14 families with this partnership. So that's your Healing Touch statue. Cinnamon rolls, of course. Get to keep the bag, we all love bags. And then this, you should wear very proudly, because you're in a select group now um, of Daisy nurses, so wear your pin. And uh, again, round of applause. <laughs> like to say to this group? They're a little daunting. It's a big group. Yeah. 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 I just love you guys and I appreciate all the help that you guys give me every day. I couldn't do it without any of you. So, thanks guys. Now let's eat cinnamon rolls, huh? <laughs>